Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines, where last time we did the road logistics for pretty much half the city here. We're working on a bunch of optimizations to deal with some nasty traffic issues, and it all worked out. And in the meantime, we did all of the logistics over here, so that today, we can choose what to do with this entire coastline for the city. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, HelloFresh! It's a meal kit service that brings fresh, pre-measured ingredients right to your door. No grocery stores, no stress, and no crazy takeout bills. And I've been using them for a bit, and it's a really fun and convenient service. There are over 40 different recipes to choose from for all occasions, lifestyles, and preferences. And they even have a protein smart tag that you can select if you're looking for more of that in your diet. And I'm not kidding when I say it's fun! You can choose new meals to cook and try out without the worry about having leftover nonsense, and you can try things that you may have not considered before. One of my favorite things that I made was a turkey burger with guacamole. Never in a million years would I thought this would be one of my favorite things, but oh bud, it is the best! And now you can try out all these things for yourself too. And you can use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGKIBITSMAR60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases as well. So again, click on the link in the description for 60% off and free shipping. And thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Anyway, let's get to building though. And my oh my, it is such a beautiful area. The road network worked out great. We got bike paths, we have water, we can add in ferries, and there's a million different options here. However, we also have this, this blight. This is kind of where I've been dumping down all of the kind of annoying logistics buildings. It's like all the cargo depots, dumpsters and recycling centers, and of course, all of the sewage treatment and power logistics. But the space is right next to our main city center and what will be our main downtown. So I really want to get this area kind of out of dodge, you know what I mean? Like somewhere down here. So that has been my mental battle for the last couple of days. Do we turn this into a beautiful walkable part of our city? Or do we litter all of our stuff from here just down into this space? Because it has a lot of good highway connections here and there. You know what I decided? We're gonna go with an option three. But super quick before we get to that, as I was looking over the industrial sector, I realized, oh yeah, our highway here isn't actually done yet. So, quick upgrade there. After we clear out the old infrastructure, of course. Actually, while we're on that, we're also gonna clear out all of this stuff too, because I have a really cool plan for it. So back to the highway, it's all set up properly now. We have a massive interchange here, and this bridge is more aligned to our grid that we're working with in the main city. And now, for all of this. This is gonna be the plan. We're gonna do a mix of both. We're gonna have some industry in here, but we're mostly going to make it like the rest of our city. So people can live here, they can enjoy the view, and then we can set up like little ferries across the river every so often later on. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna leave a lot of the industry up here, but we're gonna move everything we possibly can way, 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 like over into space. So stuff like power plants, garbage processing, tram depots, whatever. But then for the water stuff, I decided just to make this little alcove type thing here. And we're gonna add in a bunch of pumps right here. And I guess I could have set this up like way later back here, but I just felt it would kind of look nice to have some kind of heavy industry in this area still. Like since there's gonna be all of these industrial factories and stuff in this spot, it'll kind of all taper off and turn into a beautiful living space by this point. So this area will be a little transition. So we'll have our water treatment plants here, our water collection, and maybe a few other things. Generally speaking, that's pretty cool. Looks a little industrial, but it doesn't actually cause a lot of traffic. And then we could even move over one of our geothermal plants down there. Yeah, after a little bit of cleanup and moving things around, it's looking pretty cool, eh? Yeah, I like that. It's very nice. Next big thing is garbage. I do not want to keep building all these recycling centers all over the place. They're super annoying and they're not very effective. There is another garbage option that I want to try out. I've never used these before, but they're waste transfer facilities and then processing complexes. So 
So the idea is you have the waste processing complex somewhere like way out here. And ideally, like it out this way, right next to all this highway stuff and away from people. So all the garbage is brought out to here. And then garbage trucks kind of scoot around these transfer facilities. These transfer facilities are really effective. They have 20 garbage trucks and cost the same amount as the recycling centers, except the recycling center only has 15 and less reserves. So what I'm thinking here is I'll get rid of all the recycling stuff and then we'll just have the transfer facilities all over the place. And I'm thinking if I place them mostly by the highways, then they should work out pretty well. The garbage trucks will go deep into the city, come back out, hit the highway, scoot all the way down here, and then right off the highway, are the processing facilities. And then I guess I'll have to have like a highway entrance back in. Wait, no, I already do. Yeah, if the facility is here, this bridge has the highway entrance and that can go all the way back to wherever they came from. Perfect. I suppose I will have to have some facilities in the city, but the footprint of pollution on these guys is relatively small. So we can get away with stuff like that. And then yeah, over here, we just have to stuff these facilities all over the place. And that should be enough facilities, at least maybe for now. Of course, we're gonna have to test things out. And I think this garbage processing thing updates once we actually play the game. But we'll hold off on that for one more second, because now we can start to move all of these geothermal power plants over here too. Did a little bit of road work where there's a highway exit here now, and we can just start stuffing all the power plants across the street from the waste processing facility, which looks awesome, by the way. It's very brutal, <laughs> it's very square. That's the kind of architecture I like. And actually, I didn't really look too much into this, but also there's a power output. So I guess instead of recycling, we're gonna be burning the waste now? But you know, what else were we? Uh, we're recycling now, we're burning it. That's not really the best. We're trying to make a super friendly city. This is just so more efficient. And it makes life so much better for the citizens. Hmm, we'll see. I think we're gonna keep this, but I don't know. Anyway. All the power plants are moved now, so that's looking good. Clearing up a lot of space. And then the next order of business is moving literally anything else we can move. So we have some helicopter stuff. The fire helicopters we're gonna keep around here, but the helicopter depot, yeah, that can be literally anywhere. So now it's going to be literally over here. Now we have our tram depot. That's now just gonna be in this block here. And we can connect the tram up to this road and then into our system. And then we have this little biofuel bus depot. I actually added in a couple buses off camera to our city. Sorry for not mentioning. But they're just up in the tech sector here. Just going in a little loop up and around, nothing crazy. And I doubt we'll use buses much more after this, but we'll see. But that should be everything we can move now, right? Yeah, it's just industrial buildings. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The service points. I don't really know how these work. So these large cargo service points take care of the pedestrian areas. And I don't really know if they need to be close to the pedestrian area. So we have all the pedestrian area stuff mostly over here, and I kind of branched it out so we could put these two here. But do they have to be that close to all of this? Do the vehicles from here go out into this zone? I don't think so. I think what I could just do is bring the zone out this way, make a new little zone, and then put all of the cargo terminals over here. These cargo terminals, by the way, are traffic nightmares. They're kind of like the cargo train stations in how busy they can get with traffic. Like almost all the traffic here is scooting down this way into this one-way system just to go to all these terminals and it still backs up like all the time. So if this works out, it'll be fantastic. Oh, I pressed play. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Whoops, who cares? We'll move these onto this new road make its own little highway connection from A to B, and then I'll just squish it all together and decorate. There we go, it's looking pretty cool. Our new little industrial zone. Kind of, no, it's more so a utility zone. We have our power now, we have all of the garbage processing, how to build two of these bad boys. We have all of this stuff over here for cargo, power. We have buses, helicopters, the whole nine yards, and now that frees up all this space over here. Weird things happening though, I, I don't understand it. Uh, well, the air, who knows. Okay, game hasn't blown up, nice. Uh, weird things happening. 
we have all this garbage stuff and it's all being processed, but for whatever reason, even though we have green processing garbage status, I've noticed a lot of buildings still are getting garbage piled up. I have no idea why. Like there is a facility right here and this is right down the street. So I, I don't know why garbage would build up there. I was kind of testing things out and putting the power lines together. And I started really noticing this all over the place, like this building here. And oh, it looks like that's really it. But there really should not be any. Like we are really, really good on garbage now. Each of these has 20 trucks and we're not using nearly all of them at all. And we have two processing facilities. The stats are looking good. So I don't know, maybe it's just a rogue thing. Uh, I will tinker with it more as we keep moving and grooving. Back to this though, changed up the highway so it looks horrible. <laughs> and we just have all the connections we need. So a lot of trucks like to go over to here to the cargo ports. A lot of trucks, of course, go into the waste transfer facility stuff and it's moving and grooving. And the best thing of all is all of the traffic that's here has been taken away from the main center of the city. Just all we really ever wanted. And with that, we are good to do whatever we please. This whole area, I think we're just gonna keep it as industrial since it already is. And we can be happy in the back of our heads knowing that the traffic is gonna die down significantly. Zone this up and probably start throwing in some shops and other things. All right, and this is where the real fun begins as we can work our way down the rest of the coast and do anything we want. First of all being, fixing this up to something rational, and then zoning, I guess, a bunch more industrial up until around the helicopter area. So we'll make this all of that, and even more industrial, and then we can start to switch it up into office space. Kind of quiet things down, you know, so residents don't have to listen to all the helicopters, or better yet, smell all the trash. Office people can do that. And then at this point, we can start to have all the people will be closer to the water or <laughs> the facilities and their lives won't be as awful. We'll probably just add in another road here. And that's so we can cut off the office space and start transitioning into shops. Since that'll be the transit hub and we're gonna need tons of stores to satiate demand. And aside from that, we just keep on adding in civilian places to live all the way down the coast. Or the riverside, the riverside, it's not the coast. Oh, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do here. This actually might get switched up. This is a main highway entrance to our city and the traffic is going to be wild. So maybe we hold up on that a little bit, move our way down this way and we have another kind of transit hub. So we'll have more shops, bunch of offices, even more shops and kind of weirdly, I kind of want to have industrial space here. A nice one-way road cutting through. And we'll figure out where to go from there. You know, we could even just go from A to B. Yeah, that kind of works out. Just give it a little nudge. Oh my gosh. Stop, stop, stop. I'll fix that later. Yeah. Just add in the industrial space. I'm sure you guys are wondering, Kibbs, why are you even putting in the yellow industrial space when you could just put in office zones? It takes up the same demand. And it's just because I like the yellow industrial stuff. I feel it's kind of realistic and it gives the city a little character. And at the end of the day, this is what I came up with. So all this stayed the same, kept this generally the same, just add in some walking paths. And then I zoned up this area over here. So weird spot, but we have our transit right there, right? So that's mission critical. And we just have some more office space over by the train station. And that just leaves in services. Of course, we gotta have plenty of services. And we are going to build a huge hospital for all these people right next to the highway. So a giant hospital right here. Plus, it looks really good there. I like it. A lot of white buildings here, white hospital. You picking up what I'm putting down? Good. <laughs> then we can move on to adding in schools. High capacity schools. These things are the best looking. I love them. Specifically the high school because they have this overhang area. I love putting that really close to roads. So you have a bit of the school overhanging over top of the road. That's nice. Ooh, this side is really boring though. And it's facing the sun. Maybe we do that, but here, question mark? Oh, here, oh, here, <laughs> yes, perfect. A pillar in the middle of the road, everybody loves that. Now let's just scoot that to there, fantastic. 
We can throw in some parking lots behind. And then beside, we can have like a basketball court or something. No, definitely a basketball court. That's cool. A skate park should be somewhere. Kiddos love the skate parks, I think. That's hip, right? That's cool. Is it hip to say hip? Is that not cool? I don't know anymore. Is it, uh, what is it, based? I don't know, dude. Let's just ignore all that. <laughs> How about we put down an elementary school? Uh, maybe down here at the end of the street. And then we could put a playground or something right next door. And a dog park. Where's the dog park? This. Right across the street so all the kids can be like at school and they can watch all the dogs playing. That's probably a good environment for learning, right? Totally not. Don't care. That's what I'm doing. It also uses up a lot of the weird zoning squares. Like, look at all this. What am I going to do with all that? Nothing. But if you put a park in, it kind of solves the whole problem. What else do we need? Police. Uh, I guess the police station can go there. I don't know. Don't really care too much. I moved a fire station right under the highway there. And then we could have a bank. The banks kind of reduce crime rate around commercial areas. But our crime rate is very low. And so is our budget. So we're going to skip out on that one. We're going to use that budget put together a huge new sports hall gymnasium. These are turbo expensive, but man, they're so cool. Put that right next to the public transit. And then across from that, a nice park for people to hang out at. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? We're gonna switch that around. The park in front of transit, and this over here. Yeah, that's much better. Center this up. Gorgeous. Okay, very pleased with that. Don't think there's much else we need now. I suppose we just need to add in the actual monorail lines. I mean, tram lines. And that, of course, will just go by public transit, kind of by the square, by the school. I don't really want to go up there yet. That's going to be a situation. And if we don't want to go up there yet, we kind of need a turnaround zone. One second. And then we'll convert this road. I don't know. I'll fix it later. Main thing is this will just go around to the park. Stop there, stop here again, and then start making its way down the riverside to there, to here, to there. And then finally, I want it to meet up into this zone so people can catch a tram and go all the way back up this way. And that's pretty straightforward. And then the monorail. Well, it only has one option to follow the monorail. And that will go deep into the city to the industrial sector and then back. Now, do we need any more elementary schools? No, all is good. You know, we only have one university though. Way, way, way over there. I bet a lot of people are, well, they have to be. Most of our citizens must be taking public transit to go all across the city to our one university here. Ah, oh, and it's nowhere near full at capacity. But it'd be kind of nice to have a second university somewhere. Like maybe in here by the highway. Ah, that's so nice. The main thing is the footprint is all concrete and it looks really good next to this dumb ravine idea. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll leave it there for now. I'll let the area fill in. And if people end up using it, then we'll keep it. All right, and with public transit properly done this time, there's nothing left to do but let it rip. Let the citizens enjoy their city that I've made for them. Wait, oops, I switched that back around. And wait a second. <gasps> no way. There are different versions of this? Oh, it's for the path. Oh, still though, this fits in way better. Wow. Man, I wish everything in City Skylines had the, like, the different variations you could click on. That's great. Okay, now the rest of the city is coming in. Uh, I've zoned this all up. I have not zoned this all up. There we go. And we're gonna make it all of the wall-to-wall -wall buildings so it fits in with the rest of our city. That'll rock and roll. Our cash is looking horrific. Why, where's the money? Is it you guys? That's kind of moving and grooving. Is it a power problem? No, nope, power's good. Divi drink's good. Everyone's hydrated, except for a couple people over there. As everything is moving and grooving, one last little thing I want to change is there is way too much vehicle traffic coming down this road already. So we're switching this up into two one-way roads and forcing people to use the highways. Now, just let it play out. Right on, so off to a good start. Budget in the green. Population a moving up. Everybody's looking happy. Look at all the industry that came in, eh? 
Nice, 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 nice. Garbage processing, did that end up working out? Looks like it. At any rate, no one's mad anymore, so that's kind of all I wanted to see. That's great. Traffic, a little rough, but that's just because, you know, an entire city's worth of people are moving in all at once. So that kind of happens. Down here, we're getting a couple people here and there. <laughs> a couple abandoned buildings, but that's okay. Things will fill in. Power. Oh, wait, do these people not have power? Ooh, whoops. Well, wish I did that sooner. Sorry. Okay, so that'll fill in now. How's the traffic over here looking? It's fine, just fine. These guys are doing well. Making almost 30 megawatts, that's not nothing. Processing a ton of garbage. Same with this bad boy over here. And I would say everything is looking great. So I'll give it a couple hours just to fill out and then I'll do a bunch of decorating and we'll see how it all looks at the end of the day. Oh my gosh, this area is everything I'd ever hoped. It's beautiful, the traffic, decent. And it is just a lovely new addition to our city. This park in the center, the schools, the buildings, the trees, the extra industrial space, and again, did I mention the traffic? Oh my gosh, the traffic is so much better. Wow, what a beautiful new area to the city. Except, oh yeah, this. I just added in a bunch of like houses down here, but it's too boxy. So we're gonna be switching that up later. The university though, it has some nice green buildings next to it, which looks fantastic. And are people actually going here? No. <laughs> There's 270 people there and 10,000 can go to that university. And then what about this one? 805? Okay, dude. Yeah. You were a fun idea, but um, that is not practical in the slightest. So people will be moving in and we'll have an office building next door next to the highway. All right, aside from that, we are good to go. This new area is a wild success and I'd say we are done for now. Except wait, wait. I have been wondering what to do in this center area here. The roads, they can be ripped away, but I am kind of stuck. On one hand, I wanna make this a massive central park. On the other hand, I want to make a new transit hub and use a huge train station in here. Like with all the DLCs, we have stuff like this now, which is very European. We have the metro line down there. We could have helicopters land here. Like everything can fit in here. But also a forest would look so nice too. So I'm stuck. If you have a recommendation, please leave it in the comments below and we'll tackle it next time. Like I said, that is all for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye